Digital A11Y Insights, your accessibility partner. Hello everyone. Today, we're going to talk about labels and instructions. We're also going to talk about its importance, the benefit of types, some examples, and how we can fix them. In order for users to enter data into form controls, it is necessary for those controls to have accompanying labels or instructions. These instructions include expected data format or anything that is non-standard input. An example of the importance of labels and instructions can be seen in a sign-up form page where each field is labeled with information such as first name and last name. In this case, the asterisk indicates that the field is required. It's also important to know that labels and instructions are necessary for radio buttons and checkboxes as well. Additionally, when a group of radio buttons is related to a specific question or required input, a group level label with a field set in legend is a must. But let's try to understand who gets benefits from this. Well, this is important for several groups of users including people with cognitive disabilities who require visible text labels and instructions in order to effectively fill out forms. Additionally, individuals with low vision who don't use screen readers rely on visible labels. Even users without vision or any disabilities may still require instructions on the expected data format or any non-standard input data. Now, let's take a look at a good example that demonstrates effective labeling. A good example of effective labeling can be seen in an online insurance enrollment form, where all the fields are accompanied by visible labels such as first name, middle name, email and so on. Also, required fields are denoted with an asterisk in the label. Another example is an e-commerce site with the product search result page that features checkboxes with the group level label for each filter group, such as brand and price. This approach ensures that users can easily navigate and understand the available filtering option. Here's an example of the labeling failure scenario. An online contact us form requires users to enter their phone numbers in three separate fields, area code, exchange code, and number. Although the number is marked with a label, each individual field is not labeled and is only denoted by a hyphen. But how can these issues be resolved? Let's take a look. One should use label tags to provide labels for all form controls. One should avoid using placeholders as a replacement for labels as they disappear upon typing. One should use group level labels for related groups of form controls and provide individual labels for each control. When asking for phone or credit card numbers, one should use phone or credit card as the group label and include a title attribute for each individual field. In conclusion, labels or instructions make sure that web content is easily understandable by providing clear and concise language. By adhering to this guideline, web content can be made more accessible and inclusive for users regardless of their cognitive abilities or language proficiency. This is the end of the video. Thank you for joining. If you like the video, do like and subscribe.